What's up, guys? In today's episode, I go over my new to me Demon FX 33 clones. Stay tuned. <laughs> What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and today was the day! Um, <laughs> so, one of my buddies was just like, yo, have you seen this? And he sends me a link, and it directly goes to Alibaba, and you guys have probably heard of Demon Effects at this point. Uh, they're just a company out in China, and what they do is they, cl they started out cloning pedals that were TS9, OD808 variants. Um, then, you know, I guess they decided, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make 100% identical clones to some of the most popular pedals out there. And of course, they jumped on the Fortin bandwagon. So, uh, funny enough, so I ended up going to the link to Alibaba and at the time, they had three of these pedals sold. I bought two, and it must have been a day or two later where suddenly they were off the market. You, you could still see it up there uh, on their website, but you couldn't click on it and buy it. In fact, it said something along the lines of it's unavailable or something like that. Uh, and these two actually arrived today. So I feel like I cornered the market by buying almost 50% of the pedals that are out there. So the funny thing is I kind of guessed that they figured, ah, we, we're going to do a clone of the Fort and 33, but we're going to get away with it by reversing the 33. And you can't do that, especially when it's trademarked. So what they decided to do was literally just reverse the 33. Uh, so funny enough, I mean, these arrived and I'm just like, they kind of look like Fortin pedals, uh, but if you actually ever owned a Fortin 33, the graphic is just completely different. They kind of cheaped out on uh, on the graphic on these, and that's, you know, they were 30 bucks, so you can't really expect much. Um, I was kind of at least hoping that they would sound okay, and these two guys actually sound terrific. So I'm going to be playing out of my uh, 1992 Jackson uh, this is my professional model. This is the granite finish with the maple fretboard. So I'm going to go ahead and run this guy out of my triple, uh, my Mesa triple rectifier. That is running uh, the pedal and running out to my Mesa 412 with Selection V30s. And that is being captured with a Shure SM57 mic. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, set this guy up. You're gonna look at my bootay for a little bit. All right, here it is. In. She's in. And out. All right, so let's grab this guy right here. If you guys ever get the chance to get one of these older Jacksons, they're absolutely incredible. So this one actually had one of their earlier DiMarzio designed uh, Jackson uh, neck and bridge pickups, but the bridge is a rail. So, and absolutely amazing. I mean, feels heavy, even though it's bolt on and just sick. These were all made in Japan. And, you know, at the time these rivaled all the American versions of the, uh, of the Jackson dinky. So, so let's pump this up, pump up the jam. All right, so I'm gonna start off with just the Mesa rectifier, and then I'm going to trigger the Demon FX 33 clone, and you guys let me know what you think. I'm actually, I kind of find that with this version, 
they kind of went a little overboard with whatever components they used. Um, so with the Fortin um, 33, I would typically keep it at about one o'clock. Um, the equivalent of the Fortin 33 set to one o'clock is this pedal being set to nine o'clock. So there's more, which is crazy. So when you tap out on the Fortin 33 and you can't go any further, that's about one o'clock on this pedal. So, and then you get to crank it even more. So it's just crazy. I don't know, you know, of course, whatever resistors and diodes they actually used in this, um, they did a different take on it. So, so there's just more. <laughs> That's all I can say. So that is at nine o'clock, uh, and I'll just go from nine to noon to three o'clock and then maxing it out. Hopefully you guys can hear the difference on your end. I can on mine. Um, so yeah, I mean, for 30 bucks, I felt like, ah, let me just get two of them. I feel like I should have gotten three or four now. Um, but you know, it doesn't, I was talking to, uh, Joe Anastasio earlier today from Lone Wolf Audio. And he made a lot of sense. You know, as Americans, we can't complain that production on, you know, on XYZ is being done overseas, robbing Americans of their manufacturing jobs when we as Americans are quick to go to Alibaba or to Wish's website and buy all of these products that are made out in China. So... You know, he made sense and I agreed with him. Um, you know, would you, you know, so, so the take is, and this is just a personal thing, right? You have to decide for yourself if it's worth buying a pedal for $30. Some people will say yes, because it's just 30 bucks, but you know, for 200 bucks, you can get the real pedal and that's made in Kentucky where there's a family that makes pedals and amps and that's where the, you know, these are built or where the Fort and 33s are built. Um, and that's, you know, do you want to spend more? Do you want to spend less? That's your own little battle that you're going to have to go through. But, uh, even Joe mentioned, he's just like, you know, anything that has to do with any of these, uh, intellectual property, uh, pedals, he's like, I'm just going to remove them because, you know, he's a builder. And if you're a pedal builder, that's one thing. But keep in mind that if you're a pedal builder in North America and everyone is just like, ah, why do I want to buy your pedal? You know, let's say the Precision Drive, which Demon Effects makes a, an identical version of it. Uh, why buy the Precision Drive for 200 bucks when you can get it for, you know, 30 bucks on, on Alibaba? And, you know, there's something to be said with buying American and... You know, as a reviewer, I kind of felt like, yeah, let me just buy it and try it out. And uh, and I think it's a great pedal, but I'm also glad that they don't have it available on their website right now as well. So, 
you know, that has everything to do with Ricky Rick, uh, if Mike Fortin's attorney, who is just like, ah, son, yo, you can't have this. Bro, 33 in reverse is still trademark infringement. So, you know, he worked his magic and they actually took it down. And that's just what it's, you know, that's China eventually has to clean up their act and understand that, you know, we kind of live on the same planet. You know, you give me a black eye, I'm going to give you a black eye. So, you know, so, you know, you guys decide if you want to go American and pay more, but again, you're paying more and you're helping uh, an employee at a manuf at a manufacturing plant buy food for their family. You know what I mean? So, you know, those are just things that you have to consider when you're debating on whether or not you want to buy any of these Ford pedals. So, all right. So again, I'm going to switch over while I'm talking a lot. So, uh, <laughs> you guys, you know me, bro. Yo, you guys know me. So I'm going to go. So right now it's at nine o'clock. I'm going to start with nine, uh, then to noon, then three o'clock and then maxing it out. All right. Switching mics. Switch mics now. <laughs> Well, guys, there you have it. The Demon FX 33 clone. Um, you know, it's a different take, like I said, on the Fortin 33. I think they were just like, hey, we kind of like that spectrum, but we want to have maybe a little more oomph. Um, I don't think you actually need it. I feel like this pedal at 9 o'clock to about 11 o'clock completely gold and it's fine. Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to buy one. Uh, so I feel like I just have something that's rare at this point. Um, but it is what it is. You know, it's, uh, it happens. So, um, if you find the other three or the other th people I bought the other three, maybe you can buy one of theirs. But, uh, if you guys reached out to me already, they're like, bro, let me buy the extra one. But you guys know me, a pair and a spare. You know, I should have gotten three. I would have had my pair and a spare. Instead, I just have a spare. So, 
Anyway, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Hit the thanks button if you've been a subscriber for a long time and you want to hook up your boy Lou and support the channel. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I actually have another pedal, and I don't know if I want to make a video with it. I have been instructed not to make a video with it. Uh, and that's for my boy out in Queens who's like, bro, here's the magic sauce. Just don't tell anyone. And, you, bro, how are you going to tell a dude who's a reviewer, a gear reviewer, not to make a video? But it is in this box here. So, so I don't know. I have to find out because I don't want to get in trouble. I got in trouble once. Uh, so, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. There's a bunch of other videos that I'm going to have up and running, uh, probably with more guitars, because I haven't used this Jackson in a, in, in a minute. And this thing is dope as F. It's absolutely amazing. And this and it's textured too. So it's kind of like raised granite um, part, you know, just kind of little particles that are on it. So, but yeah, absolutely incredible guitar. So guys, again, thank you so much. Hope you guys have had a great week so far. And thank you for watching. And as usual, this guy with the goatee. Ah, oh, what's up, son? Yo, look at that. Yo, I just went from being in my 50s to being like 28. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, what's up? What's up? What's up to my gray haired crew? Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this sexy guy will talk to you soon.